So here's proof that you don't need fancy smancy tools, CNC, mills, any of that stuff to machine metal. Not using anything fancy. Just a good old grand marteau, hardened cold chisel, file, and a drill to put the magnet in. These are bronze soft jaws for Big Bertha. Super pleased with the way they turned out. We got our two jaws cut here and what I want to do is put a little slot in here so that I can affix the magnets and it will sit there on the jaw nice and tight. So we have a milling machine here but I'm not going to use the milling machine today because I want to show you that there's more than one way to skin a cat. You know, it's so easy to get into the mindset of putting barriers up for yourself. You know, oh, I would do that project if only I had a CNC mill. I would do it if only I had a lathe. I would do it if only I had a, you know, whatever. But there's many ways to skin a cat, and this uh, metalworking has been going on for 200 years. So here we have a piece of sheet metal, and I'm going to cut it just with a cold chisel and a hammer. You can see how quickly that goes and how clean the cut is. We're going to use that same technique for our jaw. I'm laying out the groove now. Then we're going to cut. So all I did just to make it easier is I cut a groove with the hacksaw on either end so that we'd have a nice square shoulder to work off of. But uh, just using the cold chisel here, uh, we can take a lot of material off in no time. And really, um, you don't really need a milling machine for something like this. All oh, woodworkers in the crowd will recognize this technique. So I just went ahead and used the old hack -a saw I cut a bunch of grooves, and now I'm going to use a cold chisel and chisel them out. Going medieval on this piece of brass. This is how machining got done for hundreds and hundreds of years. And what we've got is we've got a, a steel cold chisel that's been hardened and a grand marteau. And uh, the bronze just peels right off of there. We're going to go ahead and file this. I'm cleaning off my file with the, with the card to eliminate the chips in there. And the file is really hard steel and it is, it's actually cutting material out of there. So you don't want to just rub it over top. You want the file to work for you. So you got to have good body positioning and you got to give, give the file some down pressure so it can actually do its job. We got ourselves a nice little pile of bronze filings and there's a few apprentice marks on here I'm not real happy with but not bad yeah I went too deep with the hacksaw there and not too bad for the first try uh, second side jaw will be nicer it'll be the show side this is just uh, we'll chalk this one up to practice mind you I'm still going to use it We're getting close here now. Actually got a really beautiful texture. One that you couldn't get any other way, but cold chisel chiseling. Here you look at that. That's uh, that's a lot better than the first one. I'm happy with that. That's tough to get the corners square, so I'm going to go ahead with my triangular 
prism file and uh, just put a bit of a dovetail in there. In keeping with the theme, I've center punched this, marked it, center punched it, and now I'm just going to drill it by hand so that we can epoxy in a magnet. I just cleaned out the hole a little bit with a file. Now I got my two part epoxy. And the trick for body men everywhere for fiberglass and two part epoxy and all that is when you're mixing it, when you're absolutely certain it's mixed, mix it a little more. And then you you got it for sure for sure. Now these uh neo neodymium neodymium magnets are quite brittle, so uh, just be careful with them. And something to be said for using the right tool for the job.